best in terms of cloud seeding and weather modification. We have other experts that have said there's no way that this could have resulted in this much precipitation. Are you one of those experts? Do you agree in that assessment? Yeah, you know, it's unfortunate to see how many politicians have been espousing outlandish beliefs that 30 years ago would have landed them either socially ostracized or institutionalized. But now it's amazing. People will perpetuate these just incredibly apocryphal beliefs. You know, cloud seeding is a research thing that involves essentially nucleating clouds with condensation nuclei. So often we look up at the sky, we see clouds. There's moisture up there, obviously, but it's not falling. Clouds are just floating little pockets of water. Sometimes you can get cloud droplets, which are very small and very light, to coalesce onto an object, whether it be a small salt particle, an aerosol, silver iodide, whatever, to coalesce into bigger droplets that eventually become heavy enough to fall as rain. This can add 5 to maybe 15% to any rainfall in very marginal cases. It's mainly used in very dry desert climates. We didn't need that over Texas. When the atmosphere is at 100% humidity, you have the remnants of a tropical storm moving through, you have 50,000 foot tall thunderstorms and four trillion gallons of water coming down. The atmosphere does not need any help. So the idea that cloud seeding is somehow manufacturing an entire massive weather system is just outlandish. And 